Welcome to this presentation on a generic agronomic preparation plan for tournament week at a PGA Tour event. My name is Carl Dannenberger and this presentation primarily focuses on providing visual images of the practices described in the spreadsheet provided in this module. To begin, the standard PGA Tour week consists of practice rounds on Monday through Wednesday with the actual tournament starting on Thursday and finishing on Sunday, with half the field of golfers being cut after Friday's round. If you think where golfers and fans first arrive, they tend to collect around the clubhouse, putting greens, and practice range. So the morning agronomic activities begin or start around the 9th and 18th holes if both 9s finish at the clubhouse, in the putting greens and practice range. Once the 9th and 18th holes are completed, usually the staff will begin mowing holes 1 and 10 because on Thursday and Friday, rounds the golfers will tee off from both 1 and 10. The morning agronomic practices start just prior to sunrise, depending on tee times and the time of the year. Having lights on mowers is not uncommon. Generally, greens are double cut during the morning. Collars are mowed, as well as approaches or aprons, usually with a walk-behind mower. During the morning, the championship tees are mowed. While the tees that are not used, like the membership tees, are usually mowed in the afternoon. This, however, can depend on the number of tees and staff members present. Mm -hmm. Fairways are mowed in the morning. Usually, fairway mowing begins prior to most of the other practices because it will take longer. The practice tee, as mentioned previously, is one of the first areas mowed because golfers will be using this facility first before starting their round. The intermediate rough, or sometimes called the first cut, is mowed every day but is an afternoon practice. Mowing the primary rough, too, is an afternoon practice and depending on several factors, may be mowed one to three times during tournament week. Normally those mowings are done prior to the start of the tournament on Thursday. Green surrounds are normally mowed once on Monday, most likely in the morning. Rolling greens is normally done daily in the morning and maybe in the afternoon depending on the desired green speed. This is also true in dictating how often that you mow greens. Oftentimes, as mentioned previously, They'll double cut in the morning and maybe single cut in the afternoon, but this can change depending again on, on the desired green speed. Course setup, the placement of tees and holes or pins on the greens, is a morning operation. Filling divots on tees, as demonstrated by the crew member shown here in the red shirt, is a morning practice. Filling divots on fairways is normally done in the afternoon. The hole placements on practice screens is not done as often as on the golf course, but normally is done through the first part of the tournament week and usually done in the afternoon. Bunker raking is both a morning and afternoon practice. I would mention too, afternoon practices are done after the completion of play. Fairway clipping removal or dew removal is a morning practice. During tournament week, hand watering is the primary means of irrigation, which is done prior to play in the morning or after play has been completed in the afternoon. Generally, the automatic irrigation systems are used sparingly, if at all, during tournament week because of the potential to overwater or underwater. The week prior to tournament week is termed advanced week. Advanced week can be just as important as tournament week because you are preparing the course to peak during the tournament. Practices like brushing and top dressing would be done during advanced week, as well as roping the course for the gallery. And normally any spraying that needs to be done is completed during advanced week. This completes this brief overview of some of the agronomic practices done during a PGA Tour event.